After three decades of painstaking work, a 102-year-old steam train that helped revolutionise long-distance travel in Victoria is back on the rails. And today, the man who saved it from the scrap heap back in the 1960s was there to mark the milestone. More from Andrew Lund. Hissing steam and breathing fire. This 102-year-old workhorse pulled out of the Newport workshops, ready to return to service. 54 years after it was retired. This was equivalent to the velocity in its day. This, this set new uh, timetables for the railways and sped up the whole service. And so today, one of the oldest trains on Victoria's railways lined up alongside the newest. I think it's a really exciting celebration of passenger services in Victoria and really special because both the trains were built in Victoria. But it wouldn't have happened without Greg Wilson who saw the need to protect Victoria's heritage. We started in around 1968, I think, when we talked about it at our model railway club. And, yes, so it's been since then. He found the money to save the steam engine from the scrap heap. I think the receipt says $737. That was the scrap value, and that was delivered to Warrigal. For the past 30 years, volunteers at Steam Rail have been working to bring the locomotive back to life and now it's as good as new. This engine can travel at up to 110 kilometres an hour and at that speed crews say the fire is like a blast furnace. And while Saturday's inaugural run to Warrigal is sold out, Victorians will have plenty of other opportunities this year to experience the power of this bygone era. For Greg Wilson, it's much more than just a train. I think it's part of my being. Um... I just enjoy seeing it as often as I can and riding behind it. Something his vision will allow future generations to enjoy too. Andrew Lund, Nine News.